Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Code with Hafiz. My name is Hafizullah Masudi, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, install Laravel 9 and also Vue.js version 2. So, to start, we have to first of all install a new fresh Laravel 9 project. So, for that, uh, let's go to the Laravel documentation in laravel.com. So, click on the documentation and if you scroll down you can see we have this installation via composer and in here we can run this command in our terminal so let's open a terminal and in here I will go to my lamp directory so cd slash opt lamp slash htdocs and in here let's say composer create dash project and laravel slash laravel and let's name the project lara view and press enter it will download all the files uh, needed for our laravel project now guys the first thing that we have to do after a successful installation is that we have to give some access to ourselves so for that let's say sudo chmod and 7 57 to give access to our own self and then dash r for running this command recursively uh, from which I mean we will only run this command once so after that our project name which is lara view and press enter now it will prompt me for my password so yeah it says 757 no such file or directory well guys my bad we have to pause this recursive uh, as a capital R so let's edit the command and let's say capital R and press enter now you can see it run the command and if we ls dash l you can see now our Laravel project has some access and its color has changed to green now next part is guys to open our project in Visual Studio Code so for that we can say code space lara view and press enter so guys before we do anything in here we have to search for something in the browser so let's go to the browser and in here guys let's open a new tab and let's search for Vue.js 2 versions releases and github and let's go to this first link and as you guys can see the latest version in version 2 is 2.6.14 now we want to install this version so let's go to the visual studio code i will close this welcome message and open the terminal and in here what i will do is say yarn add view at and then the greater sign 2.4.16 and besides that I will also install view hyphen template hyphen compiler and I also want to declare the version for this one so at greater than 2.4.16 well the both versions are the same so now let's press enter it will automatically install all the uh, dependencies also which means we will have a node modules folder in our project so guys they have been installed successfully and I want to mention something and that is you have to be sure about the version because uh, you have to check for the version and whatever latest version you get in Vue.js 2 you have to select that one so remember that so let's get back to our text editor well what I will do is put it in another workspace for me to switch between them easily so let's copy it here and remove it now let's get back to our text editor and in here what I will do is scroll down in here and if we go to the package.json file and scroll down well let's minimize the terminal a little bit you can see we have installed both of these in the dependencies 
well guys I want to uh, say that if you want to add them in the div dependencies what we can do is remove them from here so let's remove it I will show you this one also so let's say we want to say yarn well let's copy the previous command and this time instead of add we will say remove and press enter well they are not removing what we can do is remove the versions so let's remove them and press enter now they are being removed so you can see guys they are removed now we want to add them to the div dependencies for that we have to uh, pass a mark so let's say on add dash dash div and then we can say at or view at greater than 2.4.16 and view dash template dash compiler at greater than 2.4.16 and press enter now it will be installed inside uh, these diff dependencies as you guys can see the file has been updated and we have now our dependencies and div dependencies so that was something I wanted to show you now let's close this file and go to webpack.mix.js because we want to add uh, Vue.js as mix code so in here what I will do is press an enter and let's say dot view and parenthesis save the file and close it now let's go to our resources and js and then app.js because we have to import the view file in here let's say import view from quotation view and after this let's create a component so let's also make this first v capital v now let's say view dot component and then parenthesis let's name it example hyphen component then we have to declare the path for this component and we can use require function of javascript so require let's say it is located in components folder and slash example component now after this we have to create uh, the view object so for that we can say const app should equal to new view parenthesis curly braces and we want to target the element with the it of app and let's also log something to the console so we can use mounted function and let's say console.log and in here let's say hello world now guys let's run yarn run watch to compile all the changes so in here I will say yarn run watch you can run dev also well for the first time it will fail because as you can see it will install some additional dependencies for example this view loader at version 15.9.7 so for the first time it will fail but what we can do is run it again and this time it will successfully run the code well it failed and you know why it failed because in our app.js we are refreshing this example component but we don't have this component inside this directory so let's create it let's go to js and let's create a new folder by the name of components and after that let's create a new file and name it example component.view and press enter now you can see we don't have any errors let's create our template so let's say template and in here let's put an h1 let's say hello world let's say script and export default to export this component now we have to uh, put this component that we created in a uh, laravel blade to display the component so let's go to views and welcome blade I will close the terminal and also the sidebar 
what we can do is we don't need these styles and we also don't need this div inside the body so let's remove it too first of all let's put our link at the head tag so link we want to load the styles so asset and then css slash app.css after that let's load the scripts so script tag and we want to declare a source double curly braces asset parenthesis js slash app.js now the next thing is guys to check uh, this blade if it works and if our Vue.js is loading uh, perfect or not so for that I have to first run lamp or zamp so let's open a terminal and let's say sudo slash opt lamp and lamp start well I will run it again to check it for sure and it's running and in here what I will do is open a new tab and let's say localhost slash laraview slash public and press enter and if we open the inspect element we are getting an error what we can do is go back to the code and let's say we want to put an app in here let's say div with the ID of app and inside here let's put an h1 which will say laravel 9 and Vue.js installation and after that we have to load the component so example hyphen component now if we go back to the browser and refresh the page as you guys can see we are getting the Vue.js but our component is not working and if we go back to the code and go to the component will we have everything working here let's go to the app.js and in here let's say dot default save the file and if we check the uh, terminal it is successful now let's get back to the browser refresh now you can see our component is working and our Vue.js installation was successfully done so guys i hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you enjoyed watching the video don't forget to give the thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel for support so thanks for watching see you guys in the next video